Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This session is about limiting and excess reactant. The question I am going to show you is uh, the ABCD. Okay, in an experiment, 1.90 grams of ammonia. And H3 react with 4.75 grams of oxygen. The reaction equation they already you already given, so and also already balanced. So four more of ammonia gas react with five more of oxygen gas will produce four more of nitrogen. One oxide gas plus six water gas, water vapor. So the ratio from the previous uh, video tape, you can see we're always focusing on the ratio. Four moles of NH3 need five moles of oxygen to produce four more nit nitrogen monoxide and six moles of water vapor. So this question you given 1.90 gram of ammonia react with 4.75 grams of oxygen. Those kind of questions from information you already if you already practice some question you feel like you given two given that means one must be limiting the other is excess because we only need one information to find the other one. Now you have both, that means one must be limiting, the other will be excess, too much. So the question say A, which is limiting reactant, B, how many grams of excess reactant remain, and C, how many grams of nitrogen monoxide four and how many grams of water vapor four. So you're looking for you're looking for each of them. So let's first write down what the ratio of the ratio is four more Of ammonia need five more oxygen produce four more nitrogen oxide and six more water vapor okay this is a more okay the given information is grams so that's why to see which one is limiting, which is excess, we need to convert each of them from more to mass, to grams. To convert this one, we need to, we need to check the period table to see what is molar mass nitrogen, what is molar mass for hydrogen and oxygen. So we can calculate the molar mass on other sheets and say, we have four more of oxygen. Try under the pen. Four more of oxygen. Uh, four more ammonia. Four more ammonia is four times and is fourteen point zero one, which is three sigma figure, and plus hydrogen is one point zero one, which is you multiply. 3 with 1.01 .01. you got this one you got is uh, 68 68.1 gram for 4 more ammonia this is it 4 more ammonia ok so we write down on the bottom this is it uh, 68.1 grams 
and the oxygen is 5 moles oxygen. Oxygen is 16 multiplied by 2, which is, this is 160 grams. 160 grams. And nitrogen and monoxide is, this is oxygen, 5 oxygen. And the four more nitrogen monoxide is times 14.0 plus 16.0 is 120 grams. This is four nitrogen monoxide, guys. And the last one, water vapor, is six times H2. H2H is 2.02 plus 16. You got this one, three sigma figure, you got 108 grams. So this is six water vapor. So nitrogen monoxide, this one is 120 grams. And the six water vapor is 108 grams. Okay? Remember each information on the bottom because we need working with the grams. And given we only pick one number, you can pick this number or pick this number. Let's pick 1.90 gram of NH3. So if this is a 1.90 grams. If this is limiting, and this is excess, but we don't know yet. Before you you do calculation, you're not sure, right? But from actually from this one, you can see this is a, just like a recipe. It's a 68.1 grams ammonia gas need react with 160 grams of oxygen gas. The ratio of 68.1 to 160, we can figure out this one. So actually, this one we don't know because we want to see if it is more than 4.75 or less than 4.75. If we use the information 1.90 to get the answer, this one, if it is less than 4.75, that means this is the excess. So if we got the number from this number, you got the number is greater than 4.75, that means this one is reacted. We need to redo it, right? Put the 4.75 here to looking for this one, excess, how many excess? Now we put 1.90. The reason is, I'm not exactly sure before you calculate, I cannot say, but you from this one you can see. This is a 68.1. If you double it, you got 160, 136, 136. But double it to 3.8, but this is a, looks like, yeah, just a guessing and a check, okay? so. We put this one as X1, and later on, question C and D, looking for each of them, this is X2, this is X3, okay? So to do calculation, we need to go to another sheet. So I already prepared another sheet. I just copy this one. I put 1.90 grams, this is X1, X2, X3. And the bottom I put 68.1 gram. This is 160 grams. This is 120 grams. This is 108 grams. The bond, all the bottom number looks like recipe we need to follow. Okay, because from the balancing equation. Then we can set in the ratio proportion. 
because we're looking for if it is the oxygen given is 4.75 we write this number on the top we given this one is 4.75 gram to see if this is a excess reactant or limiting re reactant so we're using this these four number set in the ratio proportion so we have 1.90 with all grams so I'm not going to write unit 68.1 equals to x1 over 160 and have x1 equals 1.90 multiplied 160 divided 68.1 because x1 equals 2 you can use calculate to find the answer 1.90 multiplied 160 divided 68.1 you got 4.46 4.46 6 gram. This number now is 4.46. That means if 1.90 grams of ammonia gas all reacted, so we only need 4.46 grams of oxygen. So now we have 4.75 grams of oxygen. So obviously this is a limiting and this is the excess, right? So that's why this one is limiting. So NH3 ammonia gas is the limiting reactant. Okay. And this is the excess. This is the question A. Question B. I say how many grams of the excess reactant remain? So we're using 4.75 subtract 4.46, which give us calculate 4.75 minus 4.46. We got 0 0.29. 0 0.29. This is uh, grams of oxygen. This is uh, of oxygen gas remain. Okay. This is a question B. And the question C, you're looking for how many grams of nitrogen monoxide gas for. So using the limiting reactant, which is 1.90, we can using these four, these three numbers to figure out the distance. See? Top bottom, top bottom. We setting ratio 1.90 over 68.1 equals x2 over 120. So x2 equals 1.90 times 120 divided 68.1. We got x2 equals is 1.90 multiply 120 divided 68.1 you got 3.35 because you round up 3.348 or 3.35 3.35 grams of nitrogen monoxide 4 okay This is C. 
and the last one is D. Same thing we're using one, two, three, and this one we got answer. We said in top about and top about we said one point nine zero over sixty eight point one equals x three over one o eight, and we have x three equals to 1.90 times 108 divided 68.1 which is give you x3 equals to 1.90 multiply 108 divided 68.1 you got 3.01 you got 3.01 Zero one grams of water vapor for so this is the answer. And actually, you can see that means you have one point nine zero grams of ammonia and uh, react with four point four six grams of oxygen with produced 3.35 grams of nitrogen monoxide and 3.01 grams of water vapor. So this is the answer. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.